Okay, guys, we've got an M4A1 here. You can see the colors on this, not so realistic, which a lot of people have been asking for. And I've told a lot of the different uh, gel ball blaster companies from China that it would be good if they made an M4A1 in a less realistic color. I've been saying that for a while because I know I've had fans tell me that they would like that too. So they're coming out now. I've seen several on Amazon. They've seen the orange and white, and now we kind of got this baby blue or Carolina blue and white style M4A1. Otherwise, it feels and looks pretty similar to the other M4A1s. Um, so we're going to check it out, kind of put it together as we go, talk a little bit about it as we go, of course, too. So the link is in the description, and again, it's on Amazon. All right, so when you get this, you see a couple things are different. It's nice. They give you the drum magazine along with the standard magazine. And you can see both the magazines. Obviously, they're powered magazines. They have motors inside them. Little doors right here on both of them. This is just a standard M4A1 magazine, just in white. Okay, so that's, of course, where we put our gel balls. Now, if you don't know how to soak your gel balls properly, Make sure you're using plenty of water, a large enough container, and give them four to six hours. At that time, there should be room left in the container. There should be water left over. Drain off any excess water, store them in airtight containers, or use them right away. Never, ever store them in the magazines. Okay, when you're done playing with them, in fact, make sure that they're empty. So with all magazine-fed blasters from all brands, all models, there will be some gel balls left inside the magazine. They're just not going to get them all out. So shake out any extra ones, and then on both of these, on any of any magazine, there's this little button. That's kind of what opens up the feeding tube. Hold that button down, give it a few good wrist flicks. That'll clear out any of the uh, gel balls in that feed tube, and then leave the doors open so they just kind of have a chance to dry out a little bit when you're not using them. So that's important, and again, that's across all brands. You should be doing that. That's just a best practice with magazines, okay? Then we've got your batteries. So they give you two of them. They are the 7.4 volt 1200 mAh batteries, the cylinder style, uh, which we've seen with other M4A1s. And your USB charger, plug it into an AC adapter 1.1 amp or greater. Think like smartphone uh, charger, tablet charger. Charge those batteries up. It's nice that you get an extra one there. You can see they have the nice reinforced wiring actually on the wire harness, which is nice. This is a stronger, more uh, durable wire here. Got your buffer tube. Your buffer tube is actually going to come inside the stock like that. To release it, push the button, pull it out. And then this release is also what allows you to adjust the size when we have this in, which I'll show you. Of course, you've got your barrel. Got your orange tip. We can just place that on here right now. Now this came to me with this piece out outside or not connected. Now I was just going ahead and playing with it, putting it together. Now it's, it's in there really tight right now. However, the way this is designed with this seal, it almost appears like that should be getting pinched here by the, you know, the blue part. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot it like this, but there may be a chance that I'm going to have to use a, a little Allen wrench here, slightly loosen those so that I can push this barrel in further so that it can get this little white rim right inside that lip. Um, I imagine looking at it that that's how that's intended to work. However, it's on there really tight right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot it like this and see if there's any problems, but something for you to note, right? Also magazine release button, charging handle here, right? Got your safety, semi and auto. In a lot of my experience with these blasters, basically safety obviously works, automatic works, um, semi-automatic doesn't necessarily work like we, we think it's going to. Sometimes it just allows you to use the charging handle, but you'll be able to go ahead directly to automatic into safety. And of course, we'll try all of that when we demonstrate it too. Um, so let's put it together. Got your buffer tube. Gonna take that wire harness, kind of straighten it out as much as you can, slide it through here. And then like with all the M4A ones, you've got these little notches here. And just lighten those up and we're going to go ahead and put that on there so there you can see it comes out that end with this blaster again i recommend 
battery in first and then connect instead of jamming the harness way down in there, leaving the harness at this end. And again, just kind of fitting it around in there. And these wires become more pliable. The more you use them, put the stock back on, you're just gonna click that button, hold it down, and that slides on, okay? And if you wanna adjust it, see how it locks in place. All right, so when I was doing that, this little spring slid off, so I'll put this back here. And the barrel connects in a similar fashion see the notches there okay so just line that inner barrel up get it to go in and then turn it right here okay and it should turn it there all right so that's set up and ready now your magazines are just going to click into your mag well right there right you can see these connections in here so make sure that's closed it should slide on box in place. Mag release right here. And same for your standard magazine. Of course, we'll use the drum mag just because it's more fun. Standard magazine, boom. Okay. Now you do get this little optic, right, sight. This um, is really, you know, just for looks. These are cosmetic purposes. However, you, if you like them, you want to put it on, go ahead and slide it on. It is easier to put it on before you put the barrel on or to turn the barrel like that so you can kind of slide it and you don't have to unscrew it so much. You know, it's just going to fit onto a standard Picatinny rail. So you can go ahead and do that. In fact, you probably even need to pop this off all the way if you really want to do it. I'm not going to do that for the sake of the video. And guys, some of you insist to put it on this way. Some insist to put it on this way. I've seen both ways. I've seen designers of these toys who intend them to go both ways. You can put them on however you want, guys. These are toys. They're supposed to be fun. Do whatever you like. It doesn't matter. They're just for cosmetic purposes anyway. They're not really doing anything, at least these ones that come with it. Now, if you're buying aftermarket ones, of course, you can find ones that actually function. Okay, so there it is. M4A1, set up, ready to go, baby blue, safety style, I guess I would call it, right? And it got the big drum magazine that comes with it. An extra battery, that's really nice too. So excited to try this one out and see what kind of FPS we're hitting with it. So please like, subscribe, tell a friend, participate in the giveaways. And I usually post these. Uh, I post a separate FPS uh, demo test, and then I also post a long video. So depending which one you are watching, thanks. And uh, yeah, please share, please participate, and let me know if you have questions. Okay. We got an M4A1 here in a nice, safe color combination. This is something we've been talking about for a long time. I've been talking to a lot of sellers and manufacturers in China about making. They're starting to show up now. So this one is Carolina blue or baby blue and white. I've seen orange and white as well. Uh, one thing nice too is they give you the drum mag plus the regular mag. So you get two of those, which is really cool. And this one even came with a couple batteries, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start shooting it a little bit. And of course, we'll test the FPS on it. And I'm expecting some decent results. You can see it's definitely shooting fast. It seems to be shooting hard. I think we'll see around 200 FPS. Let's check it out. I mean, there were highs as high as 250, uh, but, you know, on average, the highs were closer in that 215 to 220. I think you could easily say this averages 200 to 210. First test through, it showed it averaging around 200, so it's, it's definitely um, at least 200 FPS on average, probably better. All of that, of course, can change based on elements, humidity, altitude, all that stuff, type of gel balls, but definitely really solid gel ball blaster. You got both magazines. I like the drum magazine. It's so much more fun. Um, not sure how safe it is to use an 11.1 in these. In most M4A ones, you can go ahead and put an 11.1 in, um, and it won't hurt it. But I'll definitely check. And if they, if the manufacturer tells me it's all good, I'll make sure to post that video as well. Of course, you can always do it. Just do so at your own risk. All right, guys, comments, questions, of course, please post them. Please like my vids. 
please subscribe and please participate in all the different blaster giveaways. Going to try to do two blaster package giveaways per month for the summer of 2022. And of course, remember guys, when you're done, make sure you empty out that uh, magazine completely. If you don't shoot them all out, make sure nothing is left in there. Leave the little door open so that it dries.